वेलकम बैक यूर वॉचिंग इंडिया डिसाइड वे गोन गो लाइव अक्रॉस टू कमल हासन इन जस्ट अ मोमेंट टू टॉक अबाउट हिज न्यू मूवी विश्व रूपम विच इज मेकिंग न्यूज नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज इट प्रोमिस टू बी लाइक ऑल हिज मूवीज अ मेगा हाई बजट इवेंट बट ऑल्सो बिकॉज ही इज बीन ट्राइंग टू मार्केट इट इन अ डिफरेंट वे एंड गेटिंग इन टू ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ चैलेंजेस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट हेज अ स्मॉल क्लिप फ्रॉम द फिल्म बिफोर यू एक्चुअली गो अक्रॉस टू कमल विश्व रूपम डिस्क्राइब एज अ स्पाई थ्रिलर Kamal uh, thanks so much for joining me I hope you can hear me clearly first full disclosure I've been a huge fan of yours since I was a kid seen virtually all your movies uh, so it's great to have you as always now let's talk about uh, we have so much to talk about but let's talk a little bit about what's happening right now uh, with this Vishwarupam and your attempts to try and release it on DTH uh, had you succeeded and you still might would this have been the first time ever that a movie is actually premiered on on DTH yes i think so thank you uh, uh, for opening your heart to me <laughs> <laughs> and um about uh, bishrup what you must have heard in the morning is a different scenario and what you're going to now hear is a different scenario uh, the exhibitors and distributors of tamil nadu have joined hands with me and uh, they stood for a group photograph which i'll be glad to send you and um i think i'm i'm happy that they're strengthening my hand okay so <laughs> it shows that they have understood the vision so dth is coming but we're not thinking of premiering it in tamil nadu to la temporary uh, unfounded fears so but it is coming on dth okay so we what you're saying is that the, some of these theater owners who are worried that if you'd actually premiered your film on dth might actually impact ticket sales because people might resort to piracy and all of that you're saying that uh, they've come around and they they've accepted that is it that they they're yes. okay with you releasing the, it on uh, dth yes they are and also uh, the theater collections which we opened and closed we are uh, postponing the release date to facilitate not only the dth platforms but also to resolve that issue and take my brothers along with me in this sojourn okay. and so i i seem to have convinced them and also the theater collections which opened and closed for one day shows that it is far far superior to my previous films in spite of the audience knowing that there would be a premiere on dth <laughs> far superior to your earlier movies that that's always a hard record to break isn't it because Uh, you routinely no, no, i mean you and rajnikanth routinely know. have <laughs> plus 100 crore 150 crore releases uh, what are you expecting what kind of opening would satisfy you for vishwarupam 100 crore that would be a grand crores? opening huh <laughs> yeah that, that that should do for now <laughs> <laughs> you you live with that <laughs> yes i have to i i live only with that <laughs> well you know it's funny because in in uh, hindi cinema in, in mumbai cinema i know you don't like to, uh, bollywood uh, the term i don't like it either yes, uh, don't. if they cross 100 crores it's a huge deal and they take out f- uh, you know full page ads but for you and for rajnikanth this is par for the course isn't it no uh, we can be so arrogant and sometimes we can deliver bombers we hope we don't <laughs> both of us are <laughs> Uh, crossing our fingers and waiting and uh, the hindi version which is also in a way the original version and the tamil is the second version right. we have made this film in three languages the hindi version is called vishwaroop as against the Vishwarupa. tamil version which is vishwaroopam right yes okay uh, you know it's funny that uh, we're actually talking numbers here and uh, we're talking about money and and things like that have actors become businessmen today i don't know to safeguard the actor and the content of the film i became a businessman <clears throat> so i think uh, 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 that's the reason why i became it's not avarice but uh, uh, security for my content <laughs> but but you know it's not just you there's so many big stars now we see so many big stars from hindi cinema for example they always talk numbers 
That's not a that's not a great thing, though, is it? Uh, you know, for creative no, people I, to be doing I, that. I, I, as you have noticed, you spoke numbers, and I, I only agreed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no agreed. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, now I'd like to talk about the content because that's what I think wins. Okay, Numbers so tell me, will come afterwards. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Vishwarupam because uh, I have to confess I don't know too much about it. I looked it up. It seems to be a spy thriller kind of movie set across different countries. And uh, you are obviously the central character. Are you, well, you've done all these stunts yourself, have you? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, most of them and uh, all of them yeah <laughs> and uh, about the subject it will be uh, unfair to just describe it as a spy thriller okay and um, whatever is happening in the LOC uh, my condolences to him Raj and Sudhakar uh, all that is also part of the story not this kind of an incident but what could become this kind of an incident and what is happening you know, insurgencies I, and various other things. I, I know you get asked this all the time, but where do you get this kind of energy from? You're what, 150 films plus now? I mean, uh, you and... 215, and I, 212. <laughs> oh, more, is that okay? America. It's actually you and Rajnikant, both of you. Where is this energy coming from? Is there a bit of a competitive thing going on here? Is that... Is that one of the... Yeah, of course. We are, we are healthy competitors. And the energy, I presume, comes from there. Right there. Oh, <laughs> the <laughs> audience. And, and you, of course. <laughs> oh, I thought you were pointing at me. Okay. Well, the audience and me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask you, Kamal, is that... I, did, you, did you see Dirty Picture by any chance? Uh, no. Okay. Um, as a boy, I was uh, asked not to see them, <laughs> but now my film, I was so full of uh, um, Vishwarupam, I must uh, beg their pardon. I should have seen films. Okay, well, I, films no, no, I didn't mean dirty see. pictures generally. I meant, uh, you know, the Vidya Balan no, movie. And one of, the, one of the funny moments in that movie is that it gently lampoons the idea of how in Indian cinema, actors never age, only actresses do. Uh, let me just play you a little clip from that and, uh, and then get you to react okay. to it. Ma, Ma, mujhe aashirwaad do. Tumhara beta first class, first time. First? <laughs> Tumne mere dil ke har tamanna puri kar di. Kaash tumhare pita ji aaz zinda hote. Cut it. Very good shot, Suresh sir. Excellent shot. Just like a young boy. Kamal, I don't think you actually got to see that, but that was a somewhat aging Naseer playing a college or a school student and landing in the lap of an actress who at one time was his co-star. Is that, is, is, that, is that ever going to change? Is that ever going to change? I think we should open um, changes that in its own... Uh, uh, it does? Uh, in its own way. I yes, I uh, I don't specify my age. I play somewhere close to it. No, but uh, okay, you may not specify your age, but you think that this trend that we see of of actors, male actors, playing uh, or you know acting uh, alongside actresses who are often half their age or as old as their daughters, is that uh, we don't see that that much in the West? Is that something that you no, think no, ought you to change John in Wayne, India? John Wayne. No, 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 John Wayne, Rambo 3, Rambo 5, uh, even Clint Eastwood, of course, he doesn't get to marry them in the end, but uh, <laughs> you, you have it. <laughs> well, one of the things, Kamal, I wanted to ask you is that in the context of uh, all the debate that ensued after this awful incident in Delhi, the rape, and I know that you felt strongly about it as well, I heard some of the things you said, uh, was whether there should be a change in the manner in which women are portrayed in in popular culture, particularly in Indian films. Uh, we've seen some strong views on both sides coming out of the industry on that. Uh, firstly, do you accept that, oh, that, yeah, think, that that's a no. problem and that uh, needs to be addressed? It has to be addressed and it can be addressed only by content, not by uh, how you drape them, dress them, or the content itself will have to believe that uh, that women are important to the script to begin with. And it I will automatically reflect 
the, the glory of woman, the, for which the society should understand that they are an equal part. It's not in, important that we had a prime minister who was a woman. Right. They've forgotten it. But uh, I, I know that you try to write in strong roles for women in your movies. I mean, I remember Hey Ram, uh, where Rani Mukherjee had a brief but, but very strong role. But is it also difficult to do that in such a star-dominated uh, industry where movies are built around big stars like yourself and Rajnikan to actually write in strong roles for women? Uh, not for me. I, you have to ask Rajini. Uh, okay, I but write, I, so we're asking about you. Fine. I mean, do you, in your movies, is it hard to write in stronger ro uh, roles for women? No, no. I, I grew up with a very strong woman, my mother and my sister. <laughs> so it's easy to accept strong women and uh, women. And uh, for me, it comes easily because it's a, it's a congenital habit, I presume. Mm. <laughs> and uh, so tell me now, Kamal, uh, you... This is, uh, as you told me, this is like we've, we've crossed 100 films in Rising. Uh, you're just going to keep going? Do you, you set yourself some kind of outer limit or just you're just going to take it as it comes? Yeah, w when the applause wanes and the, and, and the reviews turn very bad, that's the time to go. Right. Uh, that, that could take a, a long while going by how, uh, uh, you know, many of your recent movies are are being received. You co are you continue to be satisfied with the kind of box office response you've got for, for some of your recent movies? Well, yes, uh, they, they only deserve what uh, they get and uh, the Shahataram sort of uh, went through the roof and we yes. hope where you uh, played ten Vishen roles Pum would do the same. Yes, yes, yes. And now, okay, so you've uh, you know, you've in the past tended to do movies which go from really big uh, sort of almost commercial blockbusters to movies which are somewhat offbeat. Is that, again, I know that you don't plan these things, but is that generally now how you're going to uh, select movies after a movie like Vishwarupam? Are you going to think of something which is a little yes, more um, off track? I, or? I must tell you that I'm, uh, yeah, I'm using a platform, but uh, I'm advertising my next film, which is Vishwarup 2. I've already completed 10% of it. Wow, and, uh, <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> so, You've already completed 10% of the sequel to Vishwarupam. Yes, yes. Um, it's all the trust in you. Uh, and, uh, I hope that you like this one. Well, I'll certainly look forward to seeing it. But I have to say that uh, it's, you know, I mean, one has to keep Nayakan. They keep playing it on TV and every time that happens, you just have to kind of stop everything and, and see it. And that remains my favorite. But do look after your throat. Your voice seems to have uh, gone. Perhaps oh, it's the been, weather, I've or it's just been debating. Right. No, no, no. It's not the weather. It's my peers. Uh, we've been debating, and to win an argument, sometimes you'll have to raise a voice. And uh, right. I think uh, now that I have won the argument, I'll just relax and get my voice back into shape. Okay. Well, yeah. You certainly seem to have managed to convince them. Thanks very much indeed, Kamal, and a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks very much Thank indeed. You.